First, let's open the box containing the Azidental Articulator Model 5032, a top-of-the-range Azidental product. Inside, we will find the articulator that differentiates itself from others for a series of specific characteristics that we will illustrate later. This articulator features a magnetic anchoring system for models. To use it in the conventional way, we remove the section containing the magnet and the counter-magnet and replace it with Ozidental metal plates that are attached to this base made of plastic material. The base features these three depressions that fit perfectly into these three recesses. It is set and screwed in firmly so as to prevent any movement. The same is done for the lower part of the articulator. Then, there is the graduated rod with zero in the center. It is important that when models are plastered, the rod be positioned on zero. At this point, we are ready to plaster the models. To facilitate this procedure, we place the anti-tip rod in position by screwing it into this threaded extremity. In the back of this articulator, there is a small bar that can reproduce protrusive and lateral movements, should you wish to exclude the central bar in order to have a better view of the procedure you are carrying out. Like all our articulators, this is an average value articulator. It's set according to an average value calculated on the average population. We are now ready to use the articulator. We need to position the models so that they can be plastered. To carry out all the procedures from now on, we will use all the necessary tools that are contained in this small case, from the plaster knife to the little spatulas used to model. Now we take the Lecron wax spatula and heat it. We heat the tool, collect the wax, and fix the models in place. Now we can position the models to be plastered. We properly position the models by putting some modeling clay on the lower part. And to have them in the best possible position, we put a rubber band around these notches and in the central part using the camper's plane, a plane parallel to the occlusal one. Once the position is found, we are ready to plaster the upper part of the articulator. To do this, we remove the rubber band we placed earlier and start plastering the models using the tools contained in this small case. The bowl, the spatula to mix the plaster, and the plaster knife for finishing the plaster itself. The plaster should have a creamy consistency. It should not be too fluid. We pour the plaster on the articulator base and on the plate, making sure it adheres well. Then we close and remove any surplus plaster using the plaster knife. Now we can finish plastering the models. Opening the articulator, and thanks to the anti-tip rod, we have a stable and handy position. We remove the modeling clay we placed previously to hold the models in place and follow the same procedure as before to complete the plastering process. Once this step is completed, we must wait for the plaster to dry and then open the articulator and remove the wax using a steam cleaner. It is now possible to carry out the procedure required.
Once the process is complete, we can recover the metal plates to reuse them by simply using the plaster pliers that we find in the case containing all the tools necessary to create fixed and mobile prostheses. We can recover these by working between the plaster and the plate. Once thoroughly cleaned, they can be used again. The plastering we carried out on this articulator can obviously be done on all the models of the Azidental range. We start with the introductory base model, used in most universities around the world, that comes with this case containing all the tools necessary to create mobile and fixed prostheses. The next model differentiates itself from the previous one because of a small rod located at the back that allows handling movement if, for operational purposes, it is necessary to remove the central incisor rod. And then on to these two models that are different from the previous ones because they are bigger in size. And this gives us more space to handle and manage the models. But also because the Azidental face bow, which can be used only with these two models, can be inserted. It is possible to have more space available by removing this back plate and replacing it with a shorter screw that can be taken from another articulator, since all the components of azodental articulators are interchangeable. As we can see, there is now more space available and the same thing can be done for the lower part and for this model of articulator too. As an optional possibility, the entire range of azidental articulators is compatible with the system called EasyKey that allows working without plaster. In the box, we can find the upper part, the lower part, and the two bases on which models are developed. The bases are medical material. In the center of the base, there is a magnet on which a metal plate is placed. The impression is developed on this base, and, working within this space, less plaster is wasted. When the impression is turned, it is also possible to determine the height of the articulator base. On average, it is about one centimeter. The metal plate is absorbed by the model, and these two depressions are repeated in the model itself to provide stability. In this way, the metal plate is united with the magnet present in the system. And here too, these depressions that prevent the model from rotating are present. Easy key can be mounted on all Azidental articulator models. When screwing in the system, the plates must be completely removed. As we mentioned before, all components are interchangeable, so it's possible to use this rod on this articulator as well. Easy Key features three spacers having different thicknesses. One, two, three. According to the space that must be handled, we'll position them either outside or under the upper part of the articulator. It's important that the three of them are present to allow tightening. Let's now position our models on the two bases. By slightly unscrewing the two ferrules, they rotate, while by unscrewing these lateral screws, they also slide horizontally, both above and below. This allows us to fit the models together at a stable balance, and by strongly retightening everything that we opened before, our articulator is ready and we can start working. We can work, use the magnet, find our position, and continue working. Not all procedures, especially the most complex ones, are suitable for this system. This system is appropriate for everyday operations, to improve the quality of tasks where the articulator isn't usually used due to lack of time, and small tasks. This system works rapidly and improves the quality of the product. 
plaster remains the best choice for consistent restorations, since it always ensures repeatable stability.